So it's coming close to um, the end of the Evangeline, uh, Evangeline Lily uh, challenge. And uh, I believe that the video that I posted about my Ant-Man takedown was such bad quality that my hand was over the speaker pretty much majority of the fight. So I apologise about that. Uh, but today I'm just quickly going to talk about who I used uh, and why I used them to take down the Evangeline, uh, Evangeline Lily sorry, uh, challenge takedown. So... MVP easily for me was Hype. So Hyperion went in for me. I also have a five star who's currently in Alliance Quest at the minute that I used. Um, so I used my five star as well. I used my Thor because obviously he uh, synergizes with uh, Hyperion to get that 130% armor. Plus uh, I used... I. I used Hawk, which again, he's also in uh, Alliance Quest. But Hawk synergizes with Juggernaut, and I took Juggernaut in as well. Now, Juggernaut gives uh, 155 extra critical rating with Thor and Hawk. And, uh, Hawk yeah. So, uh, my team consisted of my 5-star Hyperion, my 4-star Hyperion, Bearing in mind my 5 star Hyperion is only uh, rank 2, I believe he is only rank 2, um, yeah he's 2 of 35 unduped as well, so I used him and he was actually phenomenally useful, it's that power gain and then obviously the stacks of incinerate just, uh, just made that Ant-Man a little bit easier, so my big champs were Hulk, uh, Hulk was pretty much uh, MVP for taking down the route to Evangeline, Evangeline Lily's Ant-Man. Uh, but once that was done, uh, what I did, I also went in uh, one route at a time. I didn't take down all the routes at the same time. I didn't even take down two routes at the same time. The way I did it is I started on F and I worked my way backwards. Working my way backwards ensured that I'd find it easier each time I went in. Sometimes it wasn't the case. But uh, yeah, eventually I got it done. MVP for me was, uh, when it comes down to the Ant-Man, was definitely Hyperion. Now, regards to anybody else that I had to fight in this list here, I didn't have too much of an issue with the Falcon. Even though he had uh, Limba, the Limba wasn't an issue. Getting that intercept was literally the best uh, the best way to fight him. Now, the only issue that I had with him, I believe he had an unstoppable, unblockable level 1. Now, it doesn't say anything. Oh, yeah, it does. There. Special 1, 30% more damage and cannot be blocked. Now, obviously, that stacks bleed as well because it's from Falcon. So, that was a little bit of an issue. But initially, Falcon's level 1... Um, starts off with him kicking you back a bit, him jolting back, and then him shooting you. So the kickback, if you manage to dexterity that perfectly, you could just hold down block for the bullets. The bullets aren't the unblockable part of the move. It's that initial kick that obviously traps you into the level one. So Falcon wasn't too much of an issue once I'd sort of mastered that move. I did get clipped a few times, but... Um, I was able to recover and come back from that. Now Hawkeye, Hawkeye wasn't an issue at all. He too have had an unstop, unblockable level one. Now that wasn't an issue because obviously um, his level one is pretty easy to block. It's also pretty easy to dexterity. Now if you guys haven't actually mastered dexterity yet, I sincerely recommend that you guys check out some videos on YouTube. Um, how to dexterity, uh, perfect timing. It's just a case of playing the champion until you're used to his moves, that kind of thing. Now, the Spider-Man was a little bit of a hassle with me coming towards um, D, E, and F uh, routes. Now, Spider-Man Spider does have, uh, like, he didn't have the unblockable special one, but he did have cornered. So whenever a damage over time debuff is applied to the defender, they gain 200% more power for the duration of that debuff. Now that made him 
like insanely strong and obviously with the limber with spider-man he moves fast and if you're able to parry him that's perfect but with this it kind of worn you down it did make it so that uh parrying him wasn't going to be useful um it also made it so that uh because of obviously his evade hyperion wasn't my option here because obviously most of hyperion's moves are either projectiles and his level two um ever so rarely gets off it's it's kind of like a projectile but um i didn't want to trap him into the um into that uh level three because if I if I used my level 3, then he was more likely to be pushed closer towards his level 2. Now with Spider-Man, his level 1 is insanely easy to um, dexterity away from. You could get far away from it. You're not even an issue. You get clipped by that, the stun hurts. And then the damage afterwards is just even worse. So don't get clipped by that. Just bait the level 1. Keep moving back. That level 2 will still do uh, uh, quite a lot of damage to you when you block in. Um... So with him, I I actually used uh, I actually used Hulk because even if I was taking a little bit of block damage, the less health I had, the more attack I had, and obviously that saved Hyperion towards that Ant Man. Now uh, Black Black Widow was the hardest one of this route, without a doubt, uh, because I'm one of them fighters that instantly assumes I know what I'm doing. So that was my weakness there. I went in, I got the perfect parry, fantastic. Went to move in. Realised the parry hadn't actually triggered because obviously uh, Black Widow's signature ability. Her signature ability shrugs off, uh, lowers ability accuracy. So even with um, regens triggering on yourself, uh, parries, stuns, anything like that, she could just she could just bypass that easily. And uh, she too had power gain. So I wasn't. I wasn't initially too fussed with her, but um, towards, again, D, E, and F, that were quite a hassle. Now, Captain America wasn't an issue for me at all. Uh, in the last month's event quest, I fought this guy quite a lot. Fought him in Heroic, Master, and Uncollected. It wasn't an issue for me. It's that level 2. Do not get him to his level 2. Bait that level 1. Get as far back as you can, because he will dash forward towards you. But that level 2, I didn't. I haven't mastered the dexterity on, so I completely just baited the level one. And then that just left Ant-Man. So that, for me, is is how to and what I had to do to uh, defeat uh, Evangeline Lilly's challenge. Finally got it right. Uh, the rewards for it were kind of sweet. Uh, I enjoyed I enjoyed playing it. For This will be the first month I managed to do it without spending uh, any units. So I was actually really chuffed with myself. And uh, that class catalyst came in handy, even if it was a tech. So uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments below. Um, and it, if if you found this useful, or if you guys actually have a different setup to me and use different champs and found it a lot easier with the champs that you went in with, uh, let me know. Comments below. I'll respond back to all of them. All right. Peace.